guys, Alvara here. Welcome to my channel. So today I finally have my B6 Kiki K here. It's finally set up and I just wanted to show you my setup. Now I know it's December and I really wanted to do like a Christmas setup. And I also thought, you know what, we're going into the second week of December and I don't want to like spend all this time setting up my planner for like Christmas when it's going to be over in a couple weeks. And I'm just weird, like I won't really want to have a Christmas setup even all throughout um, January. So I just thought I'd leave it set up the way I initially set it up and it does match the... Um, the pretty cream color so I'm pretty happy with it so if you guys aren't familiar with Kiki K it's um, a company based off in Australia and they sell really pretty um, leather planners and tons of like planner accessories and I've been a customer of theirs since I began planning back in 2013 and I do have a few of their binders I have a large one which is um, an A5 size Medium is their personal size and their small is a pocket size. But yeah, um, I do have a few of their planners still here. Um, my very first planner was the Large Lilac, which I actually still have. Let me show you. Have it right here. It's right here. It's such a pretty lilac color. And I do still have my, I think this is the second year I was using the Erin Codron Vertical. And I decided to put it in here, but oh my gosh, you guys, like my planning style has changed so much. Like I look back at this and I'm like, wow. So this is back when kits weren't really a thing. Um, so all you would really do is use tons of washi, scrap of paper, sticky notes. And that's when like these full quote boxes were like a thing. Like you see that? Oh my gosh. So let me just show you really quickly some of my layouts. <laughs> like look at that. Like really? Like is all that washi really necessary? Probably not. But back then it was like the cool thing to do. Um, oh, it's just a baby shower one. But yeah, um, this is back when I started planning and this was almost everybody's planning style right here. You see tons of stickers and really plain I mean compared to how I plan now is very very different but I really like just um, opening this planner up and just reminiscing and looking back at my old layouts I don't know it's pretty fun but yeah this was my very first Kiki K really good quality planners and they just recently released a B6 rings planner so it's like an actual 5 by 7 sized planner and I am really loving this so much. They do only have this um, pretty cream color available um, for now. And I'm really hoping they release other colors. I would... Oh, sorry about that. I would really love like a black one or pink. Oh my gosh, I would buy them all. And it is priced at $79.99 USD, which is an awesome price for what you get. So you get the binder and then they do provide you with a ton of inserts, which... I'm not using any of their inserts, although they did change to a thicker paper. So they now use 120 um, GSM paper, which is way better than the paper they used to use because their old paper was super thin. Look at all this. Like all this came with a planner for only 80 bucks, which I think is a great deal. So you get monthly inserts. This is a new style they're offering, which is like vertical week on two pages. Show me. So it's this right here. But the boxes are a lot wider. They're not 1.5. So if you have like Erin Condren vertical kits, the boxes will not fit. These are a little bit wider, which is the reason why I'm not using this. If these were one and a half um, with boxes, I would definitely be using these because the paper is really nice. So besides the monthly and these vertical week on two pages, you get tons of like lined paper and plain white paper. Okay, so 
I've only had this planner for two weeks, but I really am loving it. I, um, before I purchased this B6 rings, I was using a personal size Philofax, the croc and the fawn color, and I was using that for a couple months. I really do love personal size, but even before I started using my personal size, I was in a B16N for almost a year, and that's just, I love that size. I do still have a few B16Ns. Um, this is like my favorite one that I just cannot get rid of. This is a Foxy Fix um, grapefruit and it is a B6. I'm pretty sure you guys are all familiar with Foxy Fix, but like I just love this one so much. Although I was using a personal, I always found myself complaining about how narrow the inserts were and I just, I have big writing. I needed more space to write. So I found the B6 rings and you guys, this is Oh my gosh, I just love it so much. So I do have it decorated a little bit. It's not like over the top, at least I don't think it is. It's very functional to me and I really love it. I didn't have anything here in the pockets. I was going to be using this as a wallet because this is my everyday carry. But when I put the cards in here, it just got too heavy and too thick when I closed the planner and it was just bothering me. Like you can't definitely fit cards there, but um, I do have this pretty stuffed and I just didn't like how this, the top of the cover was like bulging out so I just got rid of my cards and I just put a few die cuts here and some clips so first here this is you guys if you guys have seen my videos I have this um, bear clip here all the time in all of my planners her shop's not open anymore and then I just have a few die cuts this is a die cut that I offer in my um, shop and I did put some of that Hobby Lobby iridescent glitter paper that everybody's gone crazy for. But I have that there. This is a, a die cut from Nana's Sticky Stickers. Adorable. And I did put a piece of washi there just so that it kind of stays in place and doesn't move around when I open my planner. And then this is a die cut from Bella XO Planning, I believe is her shop. I'll have all of the Etsy shops linked down below. But look at how cute. So all of those have that glitter overlay adhesive paper on it. And then this paper clip is from Three Glitter Peas. Back here, I have this Simply Gilded um, journaling card from her Paper and Crane box from back in April, I believe. It's one of my favorites, so I always carry it with me. And then I just have a couple sticker sheets here uh, from Toffee Bananas that my friend Robin sent me. I haven't used these yet, um, but I really love them they're really cute and then i have this sticker sheet from my shop in there so just keep those there i don't have anything in the zipper or in these this back pockets here i did have a mild liner here but when i closed the planner it was making it um bulky i, I don't know how to explain it but it didn't touch the rings at all but i just didn't like how it was making the notebook like bulge out especially in this section of the planner so i just got rid of it and i do just have like a regular pen here and then this charm is from exo carolyn designs it's such a pretty charm and it just matches perfectly with the planner okay and this here this vellum is from planner press and i ended up buying her bundle which has like different colored bows and I just thought this one matched the best. Um, this is personal wide size, that's why it's a lot smaller than um, the divider here, but I just think it looked really pretty over this polka dot divider. And then this clip, I forgot where I got. I don't know, I've had it for a long time. And these dividers I made myself like on a whim. They're not perfect, but they match. And I'm actually pretty happy with them. I haven't labeled them yet. That's the next thing I need to do. Um, and it's from like a paper pack that they still sell at Michael's. This is my first divider. And I didn't laminate them because this cardstock is actually pretty thick. So... I didn't think I needed to laminate it um, because it was going to bulk up my planner a lot more. Alright, and this little panda was a gift. Um, my husband vapes and the company that he buys his vape juices from, they do art for you for free upon request. So my husband knows I'm obsessed with pandas and when he placed an order, he asked if they could draw me a panda. And this is what they drew me and it's so cute. So they sent it laminated and everything. And it's got some numbers there. I don't know what, but I don't know what the numbers are for. 
but to the person that drew it did um like put his initials there and i just thought it was i think it's so cute that that company does that and it is so stinking adorable so i have it there um this is a personal size dashboard from foxy fix i don't mind that it's not like the same size that's just me and my husband this die cut is from Haley's handmade co and this is a um grumpy bear sticker digital file i believe and that's a collab with fox and pip this is a journaling card i want to say from planner press and the back just says hot mess express so this is um size four by six um i did end up cutting it a little bit because i had it inside my personal size planner and um it was sticking out a lot so i did end up cutting it so if you purchase these these are a little bit wider because they are size four by six that's so pretty and then the first insert here is my monthly um this is the same clip i have in all of my planner setups it's a really old magnetic clip from kiki k it's a cute little dachshund so these inserts are from Jasenia Printables and they do start in January so I haven't written anything down so this is just your month on one page and I have these all the way through December. I really love Jasenia's inserts, I just love the fonts. Okay and then this is another um, vinyl dashboard from Foxy Fix and I just have it decorated with one of my Pookie Bears, that's a Fox and Pip um, vinyl up there in i think it's a champagne color or rose gold this was a freebie from every minute a story that she was um hosting in her facebook group this is from sparkly paper co my second section which is my weekly um this e i bought either at hobby lobby or michael's i can't remember i just have that there and this is a sticky pocket from my shop but isn't it so cute so cute and then there i just have a couple stickers so these stickers are from rainbow bunny co these are some of my favorites so there's this cute little panda cute little bunny and then oh my gosh look at that side eye so cute so i just have those there and then i have this paper clip i don't know what etsy shop i ordered this from i've had this for maybe three years and i mean i i love the office so I just think it's so funny there with a the pink bow. And these here are just some um, tiny mini sticker sheets from my shop. I just designed these for my friend Robin. She's using a Hobonichi and she wanted like really tiny stickers. So when I designed these for her, I actually really like how they turned out. I like the size. Um, these may be a little bit tiny for this planner I'm using now, but... If you're in a Hobonichi or A6 or a pocket size or even this size, but if you just want like mini stickers, these would be perfect. Like they would fit perfectly in these boxes. Like look at that. But yeah, um, I haven't released these yet. I still need to look through all my files and decide what stickers I want to offer in this mini size. But for now, I have those there. Okay, and these inserts are from Annie Plants Printables, and these are her daily. I'm still messing around with these. I'm still not sure if I'm going to keep planning in these. But I originally started off using these inserts, and these are from Jesenia Printables, and these are her vertical week on two pages. So this is last week. This is the current week. This is what that looks like. This here is like my go-to layout. I really love it. I cannot for the life of me plan horizontally so I always stick with this layout here but when I was planning last week although I do love it I just didn't have enough room to write down things that I needed to do um, throughout the day so that's when I went to Annie's website and I found these daily inserts in her shop let me show you um, so it's these right here so you get this one page with the whole week here and then you get daily pages that look like this I really like this because these are Erin Condren width so each column is one and a half inches wide um, so if you have sticker kits you know they will fit perfectly in here I'm not too crazy about this section here with the checklist like if it was plain I will love it but I made it work this week I'll show you how I decorated it but so far I am loving this just because it gives me like a lot more space to write everything that I do in a day like right here. Like all of this will not fit in this layout here. Like there's a huge difference. So I'm really liking this so far. 
I think I'm going to keep planning in these for the rest of December and see how I like it. Um, but so far, I am very happy with it. So I'll just show you how I decorated this week um, in these inserts that you guys can see. And I just love the fact that I can use a lot of stickers because I have way too many. That way I don't feel bad that I have tons of stickers in my stash that don't get used. Um, I love this box right here. This is from a Mambi sticker book. This was yesterday and this is today and tomorrow which I haven't started planning. But yeah, I I mean so far I'm liking them. Um, we'll see if I stick to them. Either way, if I'm not too happy with that, I do still have these inserts here from Jesenia Printables. Your vertical week on two pages. So that's it for that section. My third section here is for my shop, Pookie Bear Cuties. So this is another um, Grumpy Bear Fox and Pip little die cut there. Um, this card my friend Robin sent me. It's from the Coffee Monsters Co. I've never purchased from her, but um, I really need to check her shop out. But I just think this is really cute to keep hustling. Um, this die cut was a freebie. Um, it came in my order from Spot and Drop. Yeah, Spot and Drop. And then this is just a die cut that I offer in my shop. And then these inserts are from Jesenia Printables. And it's her, I don't know the name of it, but it's just her month on one page. And then you get this um, section here. So what I'm going to be using this for is to plan out my new releases. I don't really have like a set schedule. I did recently upload like a shop calendar stating what dates I'll have new releases and two dollar Tuesdays and stuff like that but I just really want to keep track of what new releases I'm going to be having for the month and the date so if I have like a kit planned out that I want to release I'll write it down here with the date and then in this section I'm just going to be writing down my deposits any um shop payments and stuff like that so I just think that this is going to keep me a lot more organized um, so I have that all the way through December. So from Jesenia Printables. And then in this section, um, I covered up the, the title of it, but it's just like shop ideas. I'm just going to be jotting down like any sticker doodles, any ideas for the shop. Like, for example, uh, my four-year shop anniversary is coming up. So I'm just writing down things that I would like to include in it. My shop anniversary is in February, so I don't have a lot of time. So I need to get started on that. I do already have the albums on me, but I still need to um, do some research on charms and stuff like that. But it's still an idea. It's not a sure thing I'm going to have it, but that's what I'm using these inserts from. And oh, here's the name of it. It's her listed insert. And then here, let me check what the name of this insert is. This is just her online orders insert. And this is in her B60N size, but I just cut it down the middle and it fit in my rings because she doesn't have this one available in B6 rings yet. So I'm just going to be using that for business expenses. Like I just, I love how she designs her inserts. They just look so, so dainty and, and clean. So pretty. So that's it for my third section. And then we're hopping into my finances. Um, this is a clip from Kiki K. It, it came with the other little dachshund one. So cute, right? Um, this vinyl from my shop. says hermosa, which means um, beautiful. And then another pokey bear from my shop with that glitter overlay on it. This is a dashboard that I was offering as a freebie during Cyber Monday. I just think it's so cute. It's perfect. Another die cut from Nana's Sticky Stickers. Bella XO Planning. And this here is my monthly with the bills on the other page. It starts in January. So I really like this view. Instead of just having like one page with just, you know, your bill dues. I like having the view of the calendar here for some reason. I think it's really nice. This paper clip is from Glimmer and Glam. And I just love the color. It's like a pretty dusty rose color. So I have all the way through December here. And this shopping log insert is from Lights Planner Action. And this cute little bow clip my friend Robin made me. And I didn't even show you this little dangle. This little dangle charm I ordered from 
um, a girl that sells them on her Instagram. Her name is Gigi Plannery, and I'll have her link down below. It's a really cute little rose with some little um, pearls there. I had never ordered from Lice Planner Action, but I really like her inserts. She offers so many different inserts, and I, don't, I like her style. It's very different. Um, so you get this page with a quote. It's so funny. And then here you have this section with promo codes. I haven't filled any of this out um, because I just printed these out. And then this other section within the same insert is shopping log. So I just have that there. And then my next section is like my personal slash home. So I don't have any decorations on there. This is another um, card from Planner Press. It says relax, refresh, and reconnect. And here you can see where I cut it off um, because I had these in my personal planner and they were too wide. It's so pretty. And then this is another insert from Lights Planner Action. This is my passwords and I'll show you what that looks like. I don't need that many pages, but whatever. And then these are my like menu planning inserts. I don't know where these are from. My friend Robin sent these to me when I was still using my personal wide planner. So I really like these inserts. You can write down um, your meals for the week and then a little section here for grocery list. So I have a few of those there. I don't know, I need to ask her where these are from. And then my last section is like my notes slash lists. Um, I don't have any decoration on there. Um, this was a freebie from Walla Walla Co. I think it's hilarious. It's so funny. And then this last insert here is from Annie Plants Printables. This is the B6TN size. I looked on her website and she didn't have it available for the B6 rings. So I just ended up cutting these to make them fit in my B6 rings. You guys can tell here the whole punches went um, inside the boxes, but I don't mind it because this is just like for brain dump and lists and all that. So there's that insert there. And then I believe she had like three different designs within that insert, but I just liked these the best. And then there's just this one with um, plain lines notes and then this is another vinyl dashboard um this is the pocket dashboard you get two pockets here from foxy fix more die cuts from bella exo planning this was just like uh, an old die cut that i had in my shop i have a few samplers there from cnl crafts with her pretty like um silver iridescent foil then pictures of my nieces a few PR shop samplers there and then this like plasticky dashboard came with the Kiki K planner and I'm just using this in the back as like a page lifter it's like a really sturdy plastic so it does help with the pages not getting bent this also came with a notepad here let me see if I can find it so this is a notepad that came with the planner I think I may put it back in there so that and then these are the dividers that came with the planner they're really pretty and very very thick like glossy kind of um paper it's, they're really sturdy I'm telling you they really up their game this time with this planner because everything is a lot thicker and nicer so these are the dividers here and all of them have like a gold foiled little icon on them they're really pretty this one got bent a little bit and that's the last one there um, this is my setup for now I really love the setup I have now I don't think I'm gonna be changing it I'm just a type of girl that if I'm happy with my setup I just tend to keep it that way I don't really change anything too much if anything I'll probably add like a few sheets of um, vellum I'm here and there just for decoration and stuff but so far I'm happy with how my setup is for now but yeah you guys Kiki K I am very pleased with this planner they did an awesome job it's such great quality the color so pretty it's very neutral so 
I mean, you can use it for work even, and it just looks very professional. Yeah, I really but. hope you guys liked my setup. If you have any questions, just leave them down below. I'm going to try and leave all of the shops linked down below in the description bar in case you guys um, are interested in anything. If you guys enjoyed it, if you liked my video, please thumbs it up, and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you back here next time. Bye, guys.